everyone. My name is Ricardo and I am a software engineer in the control plane team in Business Central and uh, we deal a lot with the administration scenarios and indeed today I'm here to talk to you about a new feature that is going to be introduced with the Business Central 2024 Wave 2 and that is the ability to control the environment access and administration by partner. So without further ado let's just jump straight into the demo so that we can see this feature live in action. Okay, so I am logged in into the usual tenant admin center as an internal administrator in this case, and I have my list of environments here on the environments list page. So we can see that I have two different production environments for two different localizations. One is for Germany and one is for US. And as a customer, I would like to achieve a setup where I have two different partners, one that could manage the German environment and one that could manage the US environment, and each of them should not be able to manage the other environments. So how can I achieve this now with this new feature? So we're going to have a new setting here available on the environment details page that is called partner access. And right now the value is set to all partners. This is exactly the default value that applies and has always applied until now. So let's see how uh, internal administrators can change this in the future. So if I click on modify, a new flyout opens and the text here explains exactly what is the impact of the toggles that I have ability to control right now. So as I said, this is a default setup, but if I want to more granularly control the level of access of this environment to the different partners that I have um, a relationship with, then I can untoggle this setting here, the second one, and that will give me an additional list uh, that shows up here in the bottom of all the foreign tenants that have some kind of access to my customer tenant. What does that mean? So. Um, if a tenant has a GDAP relationship with my customer tenant, then it will show as access type GDAP. Or if a tenant has some kind of application level access to my customer tenant, meaning that it is home to a service to service application, multi-tenant application that has permissions for Business Central granted in my customer tenant, then it will show as access type app. So, in this case, I said this is the German environment and I would only like the German partner identified by this tenant ID to have access to control and administer and view this environment in the admin center and also being able to access the actual environment. So log into that as in this case a service to service application, then I would just toggle this app, this tenant actually, and just press save. So when I press save, this setting is applied and now we can see that the partner access is set to selected partners. So only the external tenants that I have explicitly opted in for this feature will have access to view and administer this environment. So let's say that I want to revert this setting back to the default value that, as it used to be, then I can just toggle this again, press save. This will grant access to all the partner tenants but if I optionally want to instead disable partner access entirely, meaning that I want this environment only to be accessible and administered by internal, administer internal administrators, then I can just untoggle this first toggle here at the top. This will disable the feature altogether. And if I press save, then the partner access is set to off. So again, this will only grant access to this environment to internal administrators. So there is a couple of good to know considerations regarding this feature. First of all, that the partner access settings affect the authentication of delegated users and foreign multi-tenant applications. So both of these set of um, users or applications will be affected in terms of authentication. What does it mean? So we said explicitly that both the environment access in terms of login to the environment will be impacted. So these uh, restricted te uh, partner tenants will not be able to log in if they have not been explicitly allow listed for this environment. And the ability to view and administer the environment in the tenant admin center will also be impacted. So the uh, restricted partners will not be able to view environments and any related settings and will not be able to administer, perform any administ administrative operations on these environments. 
Then again, this is a feature that acts on top of the requirement of having the tenant level access consents set up properly. So it does not replace the need for setting up the GDAP relationships for external partner tenants or setting up app registrations and admin consent for uh, external applications. So this is still a requirement for this feature to work. So on top of having these relationships and uh, admin consent set up correctly, then I can um, react on that and further restrict the access controls for the partners that I prefer. The other consideration is that um, at the moment we have a limitation for being able to restrict the environment access on a given environment for up to 10 intra tenants, let it be uh, tenants uh, that belong to partners or tenants home to external foreign multi-tenant applications. So the ability to control the um, environment level access is only available to internal administrators, then the partner tenants uh, will be affected in terms of authentication. So thank you very much for listening. This was all about this feature. We hope you're going to enjoy that and have a great rest of the day. Thank you.